switch. About to get started, going to run a triple atlas and um, uh, show some trap tunnel examples. How you holding up? Awesome, man. I am loading in now. I'm going to uh, find the right setup here. Okay, nice. category three. We can do this. Make sure to like uh, and we'll subscribe on YouTube. Atlas. Search the zone for the targets and place those atlases when you're ready. Bonus challenge is now available. Impossible. Target located. Drop the atlas on the target when you're ready. Yes, sir. Alright guys, welcome to Trap Tunnel Tony. We are about to get started um, running this triple atlas. Um, first thing that you have to do in any successful mission, obviously, is uh, clear the area. So we've got these encampments here. Ah, oh, nice. Great way to start. Caught a little bit of lag. says he won't let me down. Got to find out. Alright, so we are on our way to start the Alice's. Ah, thanks Twitch, I appreciate it. See if we can fare any better here this time. Uh, we'll sneak off for a second. Alright, so the idea here is you can run a triple atlas uh, even by yourself. This is a level 100 mission. It's not going to be easy. I'm sure there'll be a couple of knocks along the way. So just to recap, um, we're going to run a, a triple atlas mission here in Twine. Um, I'm going to show you how to build your atlases the right way and even how to solo it. This is a level 100 mission. Um, <clears throat> I picked this one because I needed the drops of rain, so it's not going on some easy... Uh, Hey, what's up, Frost? Some easy mission. Um, just to run one, so... Because we are uh, live on YouTube. Um, also on Twitch, so... This video, although it will be saved separately, uh, as more of a demonstration video, um, do know I'll be chatting it up with some of my subscribers 
you may not get to see them uh, throughout the process. So right now, I'm just trying to clear this first encampment. Um, it is proving to be humbling, as you would expect as you're streaming. Of course, reset on me. Nice. All right, guys. So the the first thing to do here um, is to clear the area. We want to make sure that we've got a clear line of sight on every available um, pathway to the atlas. So the first thing here is let's build a defender post. Um, using the obliterator we can put things up in walls uh, we can put our defenders in the walls and um, we won't have to go pick them up um, there's nothing worse than constantly hearing that defender say I'm down I'm down so this is how we avoid that I'm doing well Frost thanks for asking man how about yourself So we're going to kind of get this area cleared out, make sure that we're able to um, effectively access everything that we need to access. That, uh, that also means that we're going to clear out this, this building over here uh, as well. So we're going to go ahead and get some uh, obliterators in the works. Another defender stand here. So the reasoning behind this is if we use the uh, the walls that are cut out like that, uh, the husk generally won't attack them. They will if it's around an objective. Um, if we're setting up our atlases like that, or if our defenders get just a massive amount of uh, of aggro, uh, aggro being the husk have determined that they are a risk uh, because of all the damage that they've dealt. Alright, she's clearing out the building for me, that's nice. So you always want to make sure that you shut your door behind your defenders now. Used to, they would not open, uh, but now they will. So. sure that you've got that closed. Let's go ahead and get a hemlock up. I feel like there won't be uh, any reason not to have a jackal launcher handy. We've got what look to be nature enemies. Step number one, um, keyword effectively. All right, we've got them done. We've got that taken out. And then a little trick, um, thanks to the downcraft that I like to use, is um, an 82 obliterator to, uh, to help clear this, this building out. That way we're using lower level mats and uh, Not discounting the the wall power that these bring. So while that's crafting, I'm gonna place the other atlas. That's the last one. Clear out a little bit of this. Nice work. Add blue glow to the atlas. Open mission control when you're ready to begin. We know we're gonna need a floor. Um, for our 
our base. So this next part, even though it is a little bit boring, uh, it's very important to the success of the mission. Uh, if we have any northbound husks that come in, we're going to want to be able to see them. Now our defenders can see through walls, so they have the advantage. I won't really mess with them, but it does uh, greatly affect us. Plus we also want to be able to uh, uh, give the husk a clear path if they are obstructed in any way they'll behave differently which will um, affect our trap tunnels so we always want to have a consistent path for them so knocking those walls out right there made sure that um, the whole building fell down just like with anything else if there is no uh, support will fall down. So now in most cases I'd probably be looting this. Um, but for the speed of the video, we'll just go ahead and get these knocked down. So very important step. I'm not doing this just to bore you. I want you to truly realize that this needs to be done. So now we've got our defenders both shooting through the wall through the floor and hitting husks over here on the west side. First thing you should level up um, without a doubt is your uh, sniper defenders. Um, running 4x missions um, is the goal for any power level just so that you're rewarded more. Difficulty is obviously higher, but um, you know, taking in four times is a big deal. So that will give you the ability to drop your uh, defenders like I did. So since I'm soloing this, I have the ability to drop three defenders. Um, I've seen a lot of people who want to drop the defenders on uh, top of the atlases. Uh, the reason I don't do this is because I do want to split that uh, ag or that focus from the husks from um, the atlas itself and you do that by um, uh, putting the defenders off to the side. So this is a completed model of the atlas. We've got our 45 steps with our roof and floors. So we're going to trap those out for any husks that get through. Um, and just focus on those four spots to trap. That way the smashers get stopped. They won't rage if we have these up. Um, and any little husks will get tossed backwards um, and hopefully take damage from the trap when they come in. The uh, the opening here, a husk cannot walk over. So they can be flung into it. I'm sure that by me saying that, there'll be a flinger that tosses one right in there. Uh, <laughs> it never fails. So we'll use this as, a, uh, as an opportunity for them to uh, prove me wrong. But just remember I told you ahead of time that it will happen. So we've got two of our atlases built out we're not doing the uh, uh, the traditional um, build that seems to be the the norm of the the pyramid. Um, I feel like the pyramid worked well, um, but I think that they've changed something in the Husk AI that allows them to stop on the steps. Um, sure the smashers will run through uh, and over but if they're not raged at that point they'll stop on the 45 and beat it down um, now there isn't a, a way to build the pyramid that 
has um, some additional safety points in it. Um, cost a whole lot of materials though. Alright, let's see if we can grab one of those. There we go. I just wanted to thank the viewers for watching as well uh, while we're kind of building this out. It's, uh, it's a big deal to me. I really appreciate it. It's not something that I take lightly. I, I know that there are many other channels that you could be watching right now, but uh, you've chosen to hang out with me. Thank you for doing that. Uh, it's going to make the, the dream come true here of being able to do this and uh, get back to the community. So I'm spreading out these floors because of... Uh, uh, of my base ability, it will collect dead zombie souls, as it says in the description, in this blue area right here. Um, after 30 of them, it'll release a, uh, an explosion across all of these tiles. Um, when those tiles are connected, it'll blow back the little husk. It doesn't do a lot of damage to uh, smashers and definitely doesn't affect the takers but it makes a big difference to, to crowd control and get those little bitty baby husks as I like to call them out of the way so we're going to craft floor launchers there's four for our first one two three four for our second one four for our third one um, we are going to use Ceiling electric fields underneath, um, right there. So this floor launcher hits this step and throws the zombies uh, backwards. I've got double reload on there, so it'll be a 4.3 second reload time with a one second arming delay. Um, I 100% recommend making all of your traps double reload. I know it does take away from what could be a crit rating or, or even just a regular damage, um, but it is well worth it for your traps to hit more often. Um, you can still put your, your crits and things like that on it in other spots, but um, in this case it's a, it's a no-brainer to me. There's no other role that I would rather have, so there we go, and then this one's not going to be touched in that position. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of action right through here. Let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. survivor that we saved on accident. Again, clear the area. Very important. Got to make sure that we're able to see the zombies that are coming. We got to make sure that the zombies know which way they're going. So, in this case, um, there's only one path up for these zombies to take, and it's right here. So, one thing I could do right here is a lot of um, uh, spawn trapping. Um, I don't think that's uh, an effective way to teach. Uh, I think spawn trapping is kind of lazy. Um, so I'm not going to do that. What I will do is build a lobber shield over this to make sure that uh, that we have it. So these, these husks are going to come right here from this spawn. We know that for a fact. There's, uh, there's no question that this is the easiest path for them to take. So what we want to do is hopefully at least get a little bit of base on here for them to, to 
get some healing, and I, I may end up um, changing my uh, my base location so that it, it reaches down here. So I'm also doing this on a metal corrosion. Um, modifier. Um, I'm doing that because I am triple upgrading everything. Uh, metal corrosion only applies when uh, the, the zombies actually hit it. So if we go here, basic husk melee attacks cause metal buildings to corrode periodically, damaging them for a time. Well, one of the things that I have on my squad bonus is, um, or not my squad bonus, but the power base Nox has is um, power modulation. So it is going to um, uh, kind of offset that um, and stop the, the heal or stop the damage with a heal. Alright, so we are going to take out those steps. That was the only other path that they had up. here we've only got one entry point for them to uh, to actually go up so we need to, to choke them in that entry point so we always want ceilings and floors we know that they're gonna come right there so we block that off and we block that off so they're all gonna walk right through this one single tile we know that so we want to put a lot of uh, a lot of damage right here. We've got double reload on both of these. They're going to hit hard, um, and they're going to take care of our our basic husk. So as they come through this, we know that they want to walk this way. They don't want to go this way. So we don't want to encourage them to bust through our wall. So we're going to, uh, uh, to use that knowledge to our advantage. We know that they're going to want to walk this way. So as they walk this way, we are going to push them another way. Uh, when we do that, we want to slow them down. Um, by slowing them down we have a better chance of the trap firing and shooting them over so we want to slow here and there the reason we want to slow there now normally in a timeout box you would see it with two fists this way we don't want them to go over at that point at this point we want them to reset and go all the way back so instead, right here, we'll use a, um, a wall light. So now they come through here, they hit this. We'll go back to that wall trap in just a second. They, they hit this and they go over to here, which is where we'll, we'll get back to. If they miss that and they make it through this tile right here, uh, they get pushed back to start back over, hopefully to uh, to be pushed back through. So this corner wall that we're building this triangle, it's a slower. Uh, it, it makes um, it makes them have to walk through this tile instead of cutting through that corner. Um, and we're going to encourage that by offering that wall right there. So. If you're a zombie and you're standing right here, is it shorter for you to walk one tile that way, or one tile this way, one tile that way, one tile this way, right? So they will take the shortest path possible, and we want to give them uh, give them the shortest path possible. All right, so we're gonna put heavy damage traps right here again, and then we get a, a 
an opportunity to, to test it. Alright, now he followed me. He didn't follow the damage. Uh, he didn't follow towards the objective. The objective is not active, so their ag is based on, my, on me. Alright, we are going to drop uh, damage, damage. As all of these rules apply even if you don't have 130 god roll traps it's not a matter of the level of traps the zombies themselves you know uh, they're set up to where you are able to um, really work with these traps at your level so if, you know if you're a level uh, 25 for example and all you have are white or green traps all of these ideas work as well so again, we're going to push them back through. We're going to slow them here. I, I probably shouldn't have put damage. Probably should have put wall there. All right. And then we're going to continue with our heavy damage here. So as they get knocked back, uh, they go through damage as many places as possible. got damage. Now we've got wall lights again. It matches our setup over there. And now we've got more damage there. So we don't really have a lot of uh, a lot of room for this square. Uh, we do want it built up um, for stability. So we're going to drop that there. We're going to watch our zombies walk in the other way. So we've left it open both ways uh, to ensure that somebody's getting hit with something. And the one thing I didn't want to do is put another wall launcher there so that they're being thrown back and forth. It's going to wear our traps out. The one second reload time or the one second arming delay would make them miss there. So um, we don't want them uh, firing for no reason. And just wasting our uh, our durability. Okay, so now remember this, this is a demonstration video. This is something bit over the top. It's not something that I do for every mission at all, uh, but I, I wanted you guys to see these different ideas of, um, of how to, to build. So we do want our damage there. We do want to punch back here, and we do want to punch back here. So if they get hit from the far one from the wall and they land in these spots, they will go back. So the last three traps we want to lay on this corner are selling electric fields. We do that because they hit within that three tile radius. And if you guys remember our uh, our past discussion on why I'm a big fan of selling uh, electric fields, this is why. So we're going to have a, a minimal draw on this side over here. What I would like to do in most cases here is build them a path up. So instead of walking over there and going around the south side to see, uh, we're going to encourage them to come up this way. them a very quick and easy way to get up so in order to truly do that we need to discourage them from going up this way um, now oftentimes this doesn't work um, unless we offer a, a ton of resistance over there 
So we're just going to walk them back through here. Make sure our wall lights are in place. These guys just get melted. So this is a perfect example of how to um, manipulate the zombies to go where you want them to go. You'll notice that they have this spot to go up. Um, more than likely on the spawn it will be destroyed, um, but what we're hoping to do is offer enough resistance to them to where they know that it's going to be a ton of work uh, beating through those walls to get up there when instead they could just pass right through here. Um, to get where they're wanting to go. Oh, come on. Alright, so now we're going to assume the worst happens, that they do make it up sure that they're very uncomfortable through here. Get some basic traps up. Don't want to spend a lot on these um, because we're, we're hoping for the best. Alright, so we're going to go back up and check our spawn points. You can hear my defenders up there still steadily knocking them dead. I'm going to go ahead and craft some heavy ammo for them. And just do one last quick upgrade check. When you're laying down expensive traps, there's absolutely no reason not to, um, to triple upgrade. Uh, you want to protect those and make sure that uh, they're not going to get destroyed by a single propane can or um, a smasher that raged out for no reason. Um, so go ahead and upgrade those. They'll, it'll save you a lot of mats and headache. So we're going to place our last defender here. taken care of. Alright, we know there's going to be a spawn over here, we just don't know where. Um, the storm will change directions, without question. Um, but there are no spindles or I've heard them called a lot of things, but there are none of those over here. I'm going to go ahead and waste those patrol zombies. Save us another one. Oh no. Now we got a protector. One of the things I've learned is on the, the non-mission alerts, doing little things like saving the survivors, even if you don't need to save survivors like I don't need to, um, saving those survivors will help get you a higher chest. Uh, so if you're going after, uh, let's say, Reperk, um, 
and it's not in the mission alert, it's down in the bottom side of it without the timer. Um, by saving those survivors, you're going to uh, get more reperk um, up in your, your chest level. Alright, so we don't have a connection to there. Let's make sure that we're still connected over here, and we are not. Probably end up putting the base here. So that's one, two, three tiles. We needed to go three tiles out that way. Was it connecting over there? But it is now. Actually, I bet this will do it. Okay, so that gives us our base coverage over there. this one spot. Alright, so these are the probable attack points on this one. More than likely, A isn't going to be just crushed. Um, it's kind of in the middle there, and any spawn point that happens uh, will be a spawn point that uh, C or or B will get. Alright, so the last thing, this is the bottom of our tunnel that we built earlier. Um, just in case they do make it up, let's push them back. Um, and let's do one last uh, round of damage to them. So, I feel good about this build. I think we're going to Gonna run into a couple of uh, hiccups and headaches. That's bound to happen. Um, next step is uh, get some blue glow. Check our map. Looks like we got some right over here. I'm gonna put on our shovel. defender pads up, trapped out. Um, for the most part, we got full health. We've got guns with uh, good durability. Uh, we need to make sure that they have ammo. Nice, Twitch. That's what's up, man. Those mythic survivors will uh, definitely get that, that power level higher. Make sure to check your points and, uh, and check in the store, too. Um, I've got some power leveling options in there to get you guys up five new power levels. those areas with a lava shield. Let's see how these guys do. Yeah, they're going straight for that wall. It's alright. We got it covered if they come up. We 
got some guys running over there to my man-made steps, I believe. Yep. So over here, they're going where I built, but... So see, that quickly, they turned because they didn't have an option to go. So let's just see how they do from the outside. Good news is I'm not seeing any uh, propane. Nobody's surviving this. It's a slaughter fest that you see I got 16 out of 50 miss monsters. Um, it'll pop up to 17 once that one walks through. You can see his tag. Normally you can see him get hit with the wall launchers. Um, just give those traps a little bit of breathing room there. Good news, no propane, right? Only one has gotten to the end. These have only been used one and two times. Uh, our wall launchers have been used more than that. That one's been used ten times already. That's huge. Alright, so we have... Uh, storm has changed directions. Now we're in a much less protected area. So on these um, these tunnels here, yeah, you want to build for what you know. Um, we could have anticipated uh, potential uh, spawn points, but uh, as soon as you start doing that, you miss it by one or two tiles. Um, and you've wasted all those traps, all that time. And this is the point where, uh, where you have guns for a reason. So we're going to hide out in here. We've got our takers coming. Gunned him down, thankfully. Very quickly could have went another direction. See why those defenders are so important, Twitch? just putting in work the whole time over there just non-stop shooting they work even if it's laggy wow okay we're changing directions again this side I was much more certain of that they'd be coming to the east, uh, I mean to the north rather than the east, but um, again it's something that... Oh, I know that's right, Twitch. They're helping more than his teammates, he says. Yeah, getting a good team together like I've got um, that plays on your schedule and um, you know follows the same kind of ideas and principles. It's huge. Um, I wouldn't trade any of my team for a defender, but uh, you get me against a group of randos, yeah. I'd trade two randos for one sniper defender. Alright, so we're at 2 minutes and 45 seconds. This has gone pretty well. Not a lot to... Uh, worry about. I'm going to go ahead and place our decoy. We have one little wall get taken down. Keep your cold, dead hands off our laser. We hear you, Ray.
flingers up there. I know if you shoot the flingers, um, they'll drop right down, just like when you shoot a, uh, a lobber a skull, a bust. Five Miss Monsters always seems to happen. Tripwire Test, uh, Giant Xbox Killer, Fifth Platypus, and Rip Venom Vapor. So I am going to end the video now, but keep the stream live for uh, questions after that. Thanks again for watching. Alright guys, we are still live. Just wanted to end that second video there so that uh, it could be uploaded separately. YouTube. Alright, Twitch. Any questions for me? Do you have any uh, any comments on that? <laughs> really am grateful that you were tuning in there. Each constructor has a different base, uh, or not each, but 
there are different classes like um, let me go to the constructor tab uh, so Mega Base Kyle he's mythic and he's got his own um, uh, base type called Mega Base but um, right there it says after 30 base kills and emits an explosion that knocks Huss back and deals energy damage um, what it does is it makes the uh, structures have more hit points more defense um, he also has electrified floors uh, so as they're walking on it they'll take damage um, 8 bit demos of the, the demolitionist class um, Earhart and and Krampus, uh, they are of the gunner class, so they're going to have a little bit different setup. Okay, so make sure to buy some Epic Flux out of the store and uh, and make him purple. Um, I like Power Base Knox as well. Um, he's got the creative engineering like most of them do for the 10% uh, down. Um, 10% increase in speed and, and things like that. Catching some lag here. Hang on. Oh, I just got dashboarded. Um, so, go to your store tab. Go to the item shop. Buy the Epic Flux. Take him from blue to purple and max him out. As damage occurs you'll notice I wasn't repairing anything because he has power modulation which uh, you know as it's sitting on the base it um, uh, heals it so you get a propane tank thrown on one side of your base that you're not monitoring um, it is going to automatically drop a hill on it then every 10 seconds I believe it'll add 10 percent of the max hit points to it so easy math if you've got a thousand hit points on a structure um, every 10 seconds it's going to heal a hundred hit points uh, that's huge it's it's such a mat saver but one of the other things that he does and I don't know if you noticed during that video but he he's a recycler so I'm able to go to his base uh, the little house icon like you're saying and hold X uh, every 30 seconds he's gonna pull back materials to that base uh, he'll max out at 450 of each so I was able to get I think 300 or so out of that one um, makes such a difference uh, to be able to do that and, um, and recover some of those mats especially on a long mission uh, like a retrieve the data where you go in and and you make your build first drop your base on it and then just keep coming back over time uh, what's up Matt Mon Gaming Thanks for checking us out, man. Make sure to drop a follow. Um, and then later on tonight, we're going to be doing our uh, new follower giveaway. But yeah, um, Twitch Killer, as you drop that base down, it's, it's going to give you back materials. So, you know, if you're building out of metal, um, you're going to get a lot of that back uh, throughout the mission. I mean, you don't get 100% of it back unless it's just extremely long but um, you know every every 30 seconds is dropping you a, a, a chunk in there uh, again it'll max out at 450 so you know that's 450 is what um, eight or nine fully maxed out tier three walls it's a pretty big deal so uh, to do that like I was talking about uh, Twitch you go to uh, get your epic flux right here and you buy it and then you go to your heroes and manage let's say it's this guy right here hotfixer hazard um, you go to upgrade and inspect and you're welcome um, hit upgrade and then increase rarity so when you increase rarity he becomes purple and you'll see those are the requirements that it takes uh, to increase his rarity and then you can do that again once they're purple uh, and take them to gold
pain train um, live and uh, we're going to go over what rolls I put on it um, in the store. Have you seen the, uh, the Tree of Light Twitch? Every eighth hit causes a stun around the character. I'm going to take that uh, that up to attack speed right here, but I'm going to wait and do the pain train. Yeah, you get the, the Tree of Light by going to uh, uh, to your Frost Knight and running the, the weekly, and you'll get um, uh, they put them in different now. I think it's survived 30 minutes and you'll get it. All right, guys, I am uh, I'm done. I am going to um, go get the kiddos and come home and, and play with them for a little bit. Um, make sure to support the stream in any way you can, even if it's just telling somebody uh, about the, the channel, post it on your social media. Um, that would be huge if there's a donate button as well. Um, again, I don't expect anybody to donate, but it does make a absolutely tremendous difference in what we're able to do and uh, the time we're able to spend on this um, PayPal credit cards even Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum any cryptocurrencies through uh, uh, Coinbase can be donated um, again as always a big shout out to uh, Tripwire Tess and um, really excited about continuing with this um, we took a couple days off waiting on Twitch to approve us for the affiliate uh, status that we've earned and um, it's just so long and so drawn out so uh, we decided to go ahead and crank this thing back up. What's up Trip? So again big thank you uh, to everybody that's helped me along the way to get here and, and talk things through. Um, it says aided bull but it means tripwire test. Uh, giant Xbox Killer, Fifth Platypus, and Rip Venom Vapor. Alright guys, thanks again for watching Trap Tunnel Tony. Um, check out TrapTunnelTony.com uh, and make sure to follow us on any social media so that you can see when we are going live. So, uh, Twitch Killer 87 you're my dude. Thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with me during this and I uh, look forward to working with you later on and, and helping you get that Mythic Survivor uh, maxed out. Talk to you guys later. Thanks.